All right, yo, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Casino Costa. Welcome to my bars mitzvah. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm sitting here with my boy Buddha, got my cousin Buck on the camera, and uh, we gonna analyze Smooth Operator, and we're gonna get into the first song, which is the Smooth Operator Freestyle. First line, right. Scotch Bonnet Hot right Travis here. Scott Get Trapped. The first line is Scotch Bonnet Hot Travis Scott Get Trapped. Right you see it. So, the reason I talk about Scotch Bonnet is because, well, simply, I'm Jamaican. Not just a little bit Jamaican. Not like my parents were born in Jamaica and I was born in Canada and I, I'm like Jamaican too. Nah, none of them bomba clot thing that. I was born in Kingston, Jamaica, 5 Watley Avenue, Ugly Park Road, St. Andrew to bomba clot. You don't know already. Shout out all the them. And if you know anybody that's Jamaican, then you know they put Scotch Bonnet peppers in everything. Man can make spaghetti and meatballs. The meatballs are probably gonna get jerked. Pause. Quiet. Yeah. And the spaghetti will damn sure have scotch bonnet peppers. You don't know already. So that's what that line was about. It was about me repping for where I'm from and who I am. Bomb, 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 bomb. Sorry, I had to do the pose. Shout out Usain Bolt, fastest man in the world. Um, the next line is. Um, I might cook a whale cook on a candle. Put your body in. This is a little bit deeper. Boom. Cook a whale on the candle. You see it right there. So the reason I said this line is I don't know if y'all know. Anything about drugs, you do drugs, you sold drugs. I ain't gonna tell nobody. But if you know anything about cocaine, then you know that when you put cocaine on a spoon with a little bit of water, just a little, and then you cook it, you get free base. Then you're free basing. That's the rawest, most raw, baby, I like it. The rawest form of cocaine. And that's the type of shit I give you. The rawest form of bars. You know? So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about, boom, cook a whale on a candle, fish scale, getting, you know what I mean? That'll bring us to the next line right there, you know what I mean? Everything, Everything for sale like pirate. pirate. That line right there, man, I don't know if you know about what was going on in, in Africa where the pirates were pulling up on mans and taking their blood clot things. You can't come on my sea, my youth. Somali man, them are going like, yo, I'm going. Shout out to Money Making Mollies. Say, yo, you can't come tech where my things, brother. And they were defending their land, you know what I mean? So, pirates. That's what I was talking about, pirates. But pirates, they set sail. And their sails, when they set sail, they fly their sails. You know what I mean? So, what I'm talking about is everything is for sale. Well, maybe not Buddha. And maybe not my shoes. But everything else is going to be for sale. You know what it is. Um, the next line is, uh, who is Leroy? Because I said, Might make Leroy eat your Might face. Make Leroy eat your face. Well, Leroy is not a person. In fact, I belong to a collective that are known as BDS, Black Dog Studios. We shoot a lot of our videos there. We just go there all the time. In fact, I went there for New Year's. Shout out my homie Shreddy Shack, aka Enter the Void. And uh, that's just like one of my home bases. And he has the most beautiful dog. And the dog is just cool. But the dog is a nigga. And you can tell the dog is a nigga. Just his attitude is like, fuck it. That dog look at you like, I might want to bark at you. Eh, fuck that shit. That nigga look at you like, hey, what you got over there? Is it food? It's not eh, Fuck that shit. And the dog is just such a nigga. His name is Leroy. He's Jamaican. Man's name is Leroy. His, his man, the man's name might as well be Fitzroy. He's Jamaican. You know what? In fact, if I get a dog, I'm going to name him Fitzroy. Boom. Shout out Leroy. That's what that line meant. <clears throat> and uh, boom, this line right here. Anything, Anything that impedes my great move. So, it's crazy because I feel like I'm on a path of greatness, you know? And anything that gets in the way of my greatness, I ain't fucking with it. You got to get out of my life, you know what I mean? You cannot impede my great. But the word migrate, you should know what it means. I'm an immigrant. I migrated to Canada. And that was my great move, my migration. So... It's a double entendre, triple entendre, quadruple entendre, D36 entendre. You know what I mean? Big entendre is what I'm trying to say. You know? Uh, the next line is... Uh, Mag barrel long like, like moose. Shit. Boom. That line right there. Shit. I know a lot of people think I said moose shit, but I, I ain't never seen a moose shit, so I could not possibly say that. But I've definitely seen a moose because, you know, like I said, I'm a man of many trades and I'm a truck driver. And if you see a moose... 
you are pretty much dead. Mooses are really, really tall and their shins are long and they're not very fucking agile creatures, but they're incredibly strong and it's kind of like a magnum. If you pull a magnum out of your pants with a long ass barrel, you'd be pulling that shit forever. It should be slow as fuck. But once you get it out, everybody know you finna get hit with some strength, you know? That's what that line meant right there. And then, uh, let's see, uh, what else is that? What else is that? Uh, this line right here. Canelo wear heavy metal, how I use my rounds. Canelo with heavy metal, how I use my rounds. What I'm trying to say by that is I'm a huge fan of boxing. The the raw art of a man to man ship. You pause. The raw art of a man combating another man without negativity or hostility. Just know that this is a head to head game that we're playing. And it's gonna be a one on one encounter. We're gonna knuckle up and get it done the right way. With the fists. No guns, no weapons, no knives, nothing like that. That's the school that I'm from, the old school, where you could run into somebody that you don't like and you could just straight up get in a fist fight. Then you might have a bear after. I can't do that. I don't I don't get paid for that. But you don't know I'm Canadian. You know what I mean? Anyways, so yeah, you might run into a person, you you knuckle up and you fight, and that, that's what it's about, you know, and I, when it comes to that shit, I treat my bars like a fight. Every bar that I spit, it's like a fight, and if you get into a fight with me, you get into a fight with the fucking the new version of Canelo Alvarez, but you gotta realize, my bars aren't fair. I don't fight fair. I'm like getting into a boxing match with a nigga with a gun. I'm finna bust some shit up. You already know.